Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. In the previous episode we did the Divinity Coast mission, as well as got access to a Signet of Capture. So now we are chasing the uh, Shining Blade into the jungle, which is where they, and they're hiding out. They took the, the Chosen we collected last time, the Brother's Fury. Excuse me. Testicular Thompson's younger brother, Raimon, was killed, supposedly by a gang of jungle-dwelling rebels. I don't put much stock in the rumors. How anyone could survive in that jungle is beyond me. Anyway, he's right over there, but I wouldn't disturb him if I were you unless you're going to help him track down his brother's killers. I can do that. I don't know why I should. <laughs> I don't know why I should help. They hit Talos, Kalos the no headache. If you don't, perhaps you should. Is one of justice one my bur my murdered brother loves to tell. Those we prove will face a similar fate. May this unseen ones grant us guidance on this terrible day. Well, what say you? Who are these unseen ones? This heretic filth has long continued long enough. I refuse to sit by while the confessor and his council discuss and debate. We will move while my brother's blood is still warm. As I speak, I'm amassing. A host the size of which Krita has never seen. The song of battle will ring through the jungle. Legions of knights will march right into the depths and tear the stone from the earth. My brother's murderers will be brought forth and purged in the great fires of justice. We must stay on the trail. I sent my scouts up ahead, but I fear they may not be swift enough to keep pace with those blood-stained heretics. You'll have a better chance. Okay. Let's go talk to this next guy. House Ranger Amon. Our court back as soon as area is fully scouted. They have taken this main path here. I tell you, no one can navigate this jungle more nimbly than those rebels. If it weren't for their lawless nature, their contempt for everything we stand for, and their constant raids, and their underhanded tactics, I wouldn't <laughs> mind seeing them in our ranks. But don't tell us his grace that I said that. He'd have my head. <laughs> he said those rebels, they are right. You know, if they weren't evil. But are they evil? Oh, 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 oh foreshadowing. Dev devourers in the jungle. We haven't seen devourers since, um... Oh, when was the last time we saw devourers? I guess all the way back in Ascalon. Been a long time now. You're the ones who saved our great confessor. No wonder his grace set you out ahead. That Thomas is just a man. There are some who question his heavy-handed methods. Not I, for one, it makes me sick to think that those filthy rebels did to those brave Justicars. His grace will deliver them to the justice they deserve. I'll head back as soon as I finish up here. I sent Rowan... Ronel? Ronel. Up ahead to see if he could find anything. Alright. So one thing with the jungle that I remember from playing this years ago is that this place is a freaking maze in the best of times. So... <laughs> We gotta make sure we're... Keeping on the right path and don't end up God knows where. Kill that dude down there. House Ranger Rowanow. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Report back why we should be moving forward from the looks of things we led the chosen right to the heart they led the chosen right to the heart of the jungle. How'd they get through this tangled mess is beyond even my abilities. They move like spirits through the overgrowth, disturbing nothing. They're nearly impossible to track. Not to question his tactics, but I doubt it will matter how many knights and justicars his grace brings to bear. This jungle won't yield up its secrets any more than it will bring his brother back. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. I always like the jungle. I, I kind of feel like it's almost a little bit too arid. Like it's it seems really dry for a like a rainforesty jungle. But this is a minor nitpick. Oh, oh great spiders! My favorite. Let's 
spiders coming out of the trees. Oh, Laguma Key. We can use that to open up a chest we find. Nice. Let's remember we have that. We'll actually open up a chest. I don't think there's anything super good we could get out of it, but it'll be fun. Oh, there's all those chosen. And somebody named Cedra. Cedra. C dot. Beedro. Pokemon. Looks like they've run into some outpost called the Wilds. So let's head on into the Wilds then. Witness Gis Giselle. Giselle. I'm here with the authority of Confessor Doran himself. Stay a moment and hear what I have to say. While Justicar's Thomas raised for the heretics who slew his brothers is understandable, we cannot afford to send scores of knights on a frontal assault into an unmapped jungle, all while allowing the undead to march unchecked across the Crichton, Crichton countryside. I will bear the burden of informing Justicar that his forces are required for the defense of Crichta. As for tracking these rebels in the wilds, I leave this a matter to your hands. Numbers will not be on your side, but the unseen ones will watch over you. Where are these unseen ones they keep mentioning? Well, uh -huh, maybe we'll find out. He's gone there. <laughs> Discover how the Shining Blade navigate the jungle and rescue the villagers. I believe this is one of those missions where uh, I get very, very lost. <laughs> At least I have in the past. Oh. Their frame drop. Apologize for that. I think I fixed it. So this is the main thing with these mission with this mission is that as you go through all these little things will start coming out of the ground. And a lot of them are healers too. Which is just even more fun. I, I like this part of the jungle more. It's more jungly. Quickly to the camps, the shining blade must be worn. Not more life pods. Alright, we're gonna keep chasing those shining blade. I went this way. Grab a 
us some some of that delicious coins. Nom nom nom. I think we pretty sure we're supposed to keep going this way. Cutscene. Yeah, what's that? Some kind of seed? Oh, cool. Grow a bridge. Here's a Maguma chest. We can use our Maguma key that we got a little while ago on it. Let's see what we get. Cursed staff. I'm surprised we got a gold, to be completely honest with you. Here are the centaurs again. We saw some of those in the Shiver Peaks. But there's also another tribe out here in the, the jangle. The old jingle jangle. This is a good time to talk about what is mechanics. So, see that spirit over there? Over there. Um, so the way spirits work in this game is they're like, they're, they're enemies that, you know, you can place down. But they actually give the buffs to both you and the enemies around them. So, for example, this one's giving me an extra 117 max health. Uh, if I had an enchantment on me. If I was in, while in range of it. So that's like a... It's an interesting sort of um, dichotomy. It's like a, you can use you can use uh, spirits yourself to make you know to buff your team up. But if you do, then you run the risk of buffing up the enemies as well. So like, which buffs are worth running, but also giving your enemies you know stuff like that. Kind of cool. Cool idea for skills. It's like a symmetrical buff. These centaurs also leave traps as well, which are like, uh, well, they're, they're traps. You leave them on the ground, and then if someone walks over them, they pop and they do effects. One of those skills that doesn't really have a lot of practical uses. Um, but, you know, it's there. Keep on going. I think we go to the right here. I'm trying to remember. I think so. I think we're kind of following these um these little like plants with the lights in them. I believe at least. I could be wrong about that. I have been wrong before. It's rare, but it happens. I now give you the lovely um, uh, 
when I was talking a while back about how sometimes prophecy missions, uh, you get really lost. Yeah, this is, <laughs> I was mainly referencing to the jungle. Ascalon is bad. The Shiver Peaks is okay, but man, the jungle is rough. Which, I mean, it's very on theme, right? Like, the idea is that the jungle is hard to traverse, so it's cool that it actually is, like, annoying to get around. But on the other hand, it's... <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that it makes it annoying to get around. <laughs> some Shining Blade members. Quickly to the camps, the Shining Blade must be worn. Block all these guys so our the team can blast them. Wanna get the interrupts and stuff. These wind riders are just chain interrupting. They're doing what I normally do to enemies. How mean. Alright, I think we're going the right way. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to follow those white men or the shining blade, excuse me. So we just kind of have to pay attention to what direction they run as we uh, go farther in. Let's keep on going. I think this is the right way down through this water. The boss down there, monk boss, the tree of vitality. I feel like this is another part that you can get very, very lost in. At least it feels like it. It feels like another place where I can get very, very lost. Speaking of very lost, I think it's already started. White die, those are rare. That yeah, I think it's back up this way. Right? No. It's not that way, so maybe it's Maybe we'll follow these plants. Maybe if we go down this way, it'll, uh... I don't remember this. But then again, I probably haven't done this mission in 10 years, so... <laughs> Me not remembering something is not necessarily... Problem. All 
Alright, let's keep going. I believe this is the right way. Yeah, there we go. The Shining Blades are here quickly to the camps. They must be warned. Yes. Yes. We are going the right way. Praise Jeebus. I'm not ungodly lost. Yeah, I think, I think like these light, these little lamp posts and like the little ones, I think those kind of are leading us the right way. I could be wrong, but I'm kind of just noticing that now, that those appear to only be on the like the path that we're actually supposed to be taking. Oh, cutscene. Like the chosen got trapped by speeders. <laughs> oh no, please, no. There's a shining blade member. Oh, he's going to help. Kill the spider. Oh. oh, they traded. They traded. You there. You can chase us through the jungle later. But if you have even a shred of decency in your heart, I beseech you, help us save the chosen. Uh oh, oh okay. Um I have questions. Oh, were we the baddies? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What a twist! That I haven't been hinting at for a while. It turns out the, the shining blade might not be as bad as uh, we think they are. Exactly ten seconds to explain yourselves before we run you through. Is that a different voice actor? Also, why are you making threats, woman? Perhaps it is you who needs to be doing the explaining. What are you going to do to us? I don't know what to make of you. You're not typical white mantle, as evidenced by your bravery and willingness to help save the chosen. Had you not shown up when you did? We might have lost them after all. Yeah, they're still lost down there. You want to go, uh... You weren't trying to get them killed? What did you think? That we liberated the Chosen from the murderous mantle only to feed them to the spiders? What did you Nothing see? could be farther from the truth. Then what were you doing? Rescuing them from the mantle, that's what. The spiders were a... miscalculation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust them, Avenia. Their mantle, plain and simple. I can see that, Marcus. But something tells me if they see for themselves what the White Mantle really do to the Chosen, they'll have a change of heart about their masters. What are you saying? That you mean to let them go? Yes, Marcus. That's exactly what I mean to do. Who knows? Once they've seen the Bloodstone, they may end up being valuable allies. This Bloodstone. is a mistake, Gavinia. Maybe it is. If my hunch about you is correct, then you'll head to Bloodstone Fen. The truth about the white mantle will reveal itself, and you will be faced with a difficult decision. Dun dun dun, the mantle aren't who they say they are. I guess technically, I don't know, she could be lying, but it'd be weird for her to let us go if they weren't. But, uh, 
I like how <laughs> I like how it implies that we're super attached to the mantle. It's like, man, I've known those guys for like two weeks, maybe. I'm not. <laughs> I could go either way. They treat it. They treat it like we've been been friends ever since the beginning of time. It's like, no, I could I could go either way. So we are here at the next mission in what appears to be a Shining Blade camp of some sort. Bloodstone Fen. The floor of the jungle is damp and uninviting to anybody but thirsty beasts. In one particular deep chasm lines, there remains are a powerful magical stone said to be a relic from a time when the gods walked on Tyria. Not even the voracious vegetation in Maguma will grow on its surface. Oh boy. So uh, they didn't kill us. Do not let the truth frighten you. Only by keeping an open mind can we overcome true adversity. What can I help you understand? You just keep your hands where I can see them. I know you don't trust us yet. I don't blame you, but you'll see. Oh, I mantle are not your friends. They per pros yeah, persecute the chosen because they believe the flame seeker prophecies will come true. The flame seeker prophecies. The flame seeker prophecies talk about those with the true sight rising up against the unseen oppressors. The mantle believe these prophecies think the means of the chosen will rise up against their unseen gods. Ah, the unseen ones. So they're different than they are different than than the five divines. But I actually think they're gonna kill their gods. As far as what they do with the trapped souls, I couldn't tell you. I'd like to find out myself. Whatever it is used for them, they can't. It can't be good. So they kill the chosen. That's exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> he said I was trying to be subtle, but no. Yes, they kill them. Obviously. What do you twist? But anyway, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I want to thank you for having out, and I hope you have a great day.